Spoil Hackett and Tackett gang. I'm working on the tow rig solo today. Some guy's messaging me about some subwoofer box I'm selling. Um, severe low baller, but that's okay, you know. I'm crying internally, not externally. Um, we're here for rust repair. Part one of a hopefully like 800 part series because there's a lot of rust on this sucker. This is the I don't know, both sides are about equal. Anyway, I've got my very fancy, I didn't even bother taking the ball off. That's how dedicated I am to this. I just taped it off. I've got a little cover there. It's already got dust on the paint. You gotta love it. Just flat black. I can't afford gloss black because I have flat on hand, so I'm gonna use that. Anyway, the main project I'm working on at the moment is the trailer hitch. That's right, it's pretty stanky. I already peeled the little hitch rating tab off. Uh, and I was just gonna paint over it and then it started rusting off. I don't know how how stickers can rust, but they can, apparently. Anyway, it's, it's gross. We're gonna tape it off here. I've got the professional tools, a wire brush, an air compressor with hose and attachment. So I'll let you know how it goes. Got it all taped and papered off. Just remember kids, there's only a few things you need for painting. Tape, paper, one extra chromosome, a minimum of three brain cells, and your paint, of course. Um, the most important one is you can only have three brain cells because it doesn't make sense to try and fix rust. Like this stuff right here, I'm gonna try and fix it because I wanna learn how, and this is a just an amazing thing to practice on. But for, for you know, a vehicle that needs completely new rockers and all that, it's just, you get up into the thousands of dollars. Just go out west, Salt Lake City, Utah. Get on Facebook Marketplace right now. They've got everything we have, but better. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll take a video after this, and I'll show you those when I've got them more complete. So, God bless. Here's the current state of it. I got some touch-up spots, you know. A lot, of, a lot of wrinkles. The point is, from afar, you know, it isn't supposed to look like something to be proud of, but something to be less ashamed of, I think is the key. So from a, from a distance, you won't be able to see all the bubbling. Anyway, I'm gonna have to apply more coats later. However, this stuff is drying still. You know. um, I found this in the old man's tool chest. Some rust is all over. It's a skin irritant, so I'm just gonna get a gloved finger, nice and drippy. Find a very inconspicuous spot to try it on. Well, I just cut my gloves, so if I die, this video will need to be up uploaded by someone else. It looks wacky like at first when you put it on. I think I used some of this stuff at work once on a golf cart frame. That was something else. I'll use another finger to get some more on it. Love that right there, huh? Hope it's not bad for plastic, and eh, who cares? So I'll let that sit on there a little bit. We'll see what happens there. You know, get some, some on the suspension. Turns out there were instructions on the bottle. Well, uh, you know, I should have scraped it away, all the, all the loose rust first. I did not, because why not? You know, I don't have time for that. Um, you're supposed to wipe it off of paint immediately. Uh, that's, I, that's probably not that important. Anyway, you're supposed to let it sit like five, ten minutes. It's been about five minutes. And then wash it away with water. So here goes. I may need a paper towel, but look at that. Look at that. There is actual metal there, not just rust. Man, well, I give this product a, a good review for now until half my paint rots away, but that's gonna happen regardless. Not too shabby. Not bad at all. There's one piece of gravel. That I don't know how that didn't get painted at all. It must have fell out from out there, but I don't care. You know, this thing's looking good. Once again, not something to be proud of, but something to be less ashamed of, you know. And then I got, you know, those things are fine. Um, 
This I dried off. It didn't. Yeah, I don't know. Looks a little better. It did kill some paint there, I see, but. Oh well. Thanks for watching, folks, and remember keep your stick on the ice.